Alright, so this is going to be a review on a Deathwish deck. Um, so I skated this deck for about six weeks around there, which is about average for me. Uh, so uh, the reason why I stopped skating it is just because uh, it started like chipping on the tail, which just like it had no pop after it started chipping on the tail. Um, it just lost all of its pop after that. But, uh, anyway, uh, I think, I guess I'm gonna start with the shape of this board. Um, whenever you first get it, it's, uh, not, not, uh, it's just a mix between pointy and round, but it's more toward the pointy side. Um, but, you know, th this may look a bit round because you skated and it squares and it, all that stuff. And there's the shape of the nose. Uh, um, and the concave is uh, mellow, uh, which I like it. It's uh, comfy to stand on. It's a, it's a bit deeper than a baker, but uh, not quite deep enough to be like a medium. Um, and the kick height is uh, mellow as well, which uh, I like, nice and responsive. Um, now, pop-wise, uh, it did have some pretty good pop uh, whenever I first got it, and it continued having that just about until the point, or just about, what am I trying to say? Uh, it had good pop until it started chipping on the tail. Uh, but, um, if that wouldn't have happened, I'm pretty sure I would still be skating it. Uh, and I only raised it to, like, the fourth ply, which is pretty good. It's actually real good. Um, now, uh, the hydration of the wood, uh, it's pretty hydrated, which, um, does make it raise it a bit faster, but since it's on the pointy side, those kind of, uh, What's the word? Those kind of counteract each other almost. Uh, so it actually raises uh, slowly. Um, and uh, it is pretty hard to chip. Uh, the only two uh, major noticeable chips really on this is right there on the tail and right there on the nose. And grip hiding all of it. But um, uh, stress cracks on this deck, did get some, but not really much worse than average, uh, and, what, got, got some on the tail and the nose and mounting holes, I don't think I got any in the middle of the deck, but, um, anyway, and there's a few coming up through the grip down the middle, actually. But, uh, what else? I did kind of break it, uh, but not, like, all the way through. It was just, like, two and, like, two plies deep. Uh, right, right there. You see that little line? That's actually just a crack where the plies are sticking up from where I broke it. Um, and I don't know how, and I don't know when. Uh, but I didn't notice it until I actually picked up the board and looked at it, and I was like, whoa, it's broken. But, uh, didn't, didn't add any flex to the board, so, uh, I mean, that's the only way I would notice it. Uh, what else? I think I basically covered it all, uh, with the Death Wish deck. Uh, I mean... It's good pop, lasts a long time, not too hard to chip, doesn't break. I mean, it's still in one piece, so obviously it doesn't break. Uh, and it's definitely a good buy if you haven't had one. This is the second one I've skated. And uh, actually, I just put another one together today. So, um, yeah, I've had three so far, skated two of the three. Um, and
and uh, just expect more reviews on uh, other crap. Not a lot of death re uh, deck death reviews. What am I saying? Uh, deck reviews in uh, the near future because I have two other bakers that I'm gonna be skating, and I've already reviewed bakers. But uh, definitely shoe reviews, wheel reviews, bearing reviews, truck reviews, all that other stuff. Um, just be expecting, uh, all that, and, um, I guess I'll just see you guys next time, because that's basically it for this review, so I will see you later.